Right. Hi there, back from my holiday, continuing with the 350Z build. These are the heads I've got back. I've gas flowed them, they've been vapor blasted and skimmed, and I've all new one piece stainless steel valves from Brian Crower. Right, a few things to sort out before you start work. Paste. You want your grinding paste and you want a selection of sucker heads. Different sizes because if you buy a tool, quite often the suckers you get are the wrong size. They're too big and they fall off the valve. So go on Fleabay when you buy your tool, buy a couple of extra wooden lapping tools, get a few extra heads. Um, get the smaller ones because a lot of multi-valve multi engines have quite small valves. So that's point one. The second point, I get a piece of cardboard and I mark up front of engine, rear of engine, inlet and exhaust. And I push, so when, when the valves are done, they're lapped, I'll pop them in, in order, so that I know where each valve goes. And then once they're all lapped in, I can sort out the springs and everything and put them all together in one hit in the correct order. So that's that. So what I would also recommend is these valves are done. So these I've spent quite I've spent about an hour each on these. They've come out quite smooth. You can see no pitting when it focuses, no pitting. We move along to ones I haven't started on. When it focuses, get it in the light. Yeah, lots of pitting on these ones and on this one as well. Lots of pitting. That'll take quite a lot of work. So what you can do, rather than spend hours with one packet of fine and medium paste or coarse, you can buy an extra coarse paste. So I, I've ordered, haven't got it yet, I've got to wait a few days. I've got some extra coarse paste coming and I've got some extra fine so I can get a much better finish. So I've mentioned the different size heads, you want the smallest heads. The heads that come with the tool are generally too big. So that's that. So I'll give you a quick demonstration on how I do it. Everybody's different. Right, so I will paste around the the valve, the seal, plenty of paste on, don't worry about putting too, what I would worry about is getting it on the shaft where it goes through, yeah avoid getting it on the shaft because you'll just make, ruin your, your valve guides, you don't want to be lapping in your valve guides, let's put that back in the right one, I've set the drill on the slow speed because I don't want to do it too fast so I just grind that in lift it grind it every now and again let it spin a bit so you're doing a different area and you can feel the friction you can feel it grinding let it spin a bit it's about feel let it spin a bit do a minute or two when you when you lose that grinding noise, the paste is ground smooth and it's not cutting as much. That, let's take that out, being careful not to get grinding paste on the valve stem. Right, so let's get a dirty old cloth. So I, I personally just wipe it out each time, though you don't have to. You can keep, you can leave the old stuff there. I get some fresh paste. This is coarse, it's coarse, it's coarse, loads on there, it's cheap stuff, don't worry, just don't get it on the shaft, don't get it in your, your valve guides because you'll end up with worn valve guides. Back in. I, I expect I'm going to spend on these on these exhaust valves, which are quite pitted, I'm probably going to spend 45 minutes on each one, going through the coarse and the fine grade. Although when the extra fine grade turns up, I will do that as well. Okay, if I take that out, let's be careful not to touch it. Right, so you get the general idea. When all the pitting's gone, 
This grinding paste is very abrasive. You do not want to leave a trace of it in your engine. So after this has all been done, I will wash this out thoroughly and re-oil everything. And I will lube everything up when it goes together. So actually, that's not. there's a couple of little pits there. That I see a couple of little pits. So it needs more work. But basically, paste, tool, plenty of grinding paste. Avoid getting any debris or any grinding paste on the shaft. That's just a few minutes on one. Got 16 of these to do. So I'll get back to you into a, <laughs> a couple of weeks at this rate. So when that's all done, it'll be new valve stem oil seals, the springs. I'll do a separate video of assembling the valves. But for the meantime, if you're doing this, you've got plenty of work. Thank you for watching.